For the uh, zero count of COVID cases, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zero is with a song called Home, but looks like we'll be staying home for a little bit longer, that's for sure, with uh, all the COVID cases across the country and around the world, so we'll see what happens. Which about. isn't a bad thing. I mean, it could be a lot worse than home is sometimes, as they say in that song, the best place and where you belong. So uh, that's right. uh, we have a really busy buzz section. We're going to start with a rare bird. So let's get to it. Here's your Monday breakfast buzz. A rare bird that was spotted in Nova Scotia. And if it is in fact the bird that they think it is, it has never been seen, reported, ever in Canada. Really? Yeah, first time ever. I thought you thought it was a beer. A rare beer <laughs> ale. Uh, that's right. Local brewery. Yeah, well, that too. That's been spotted. <laughs> uh, so here it is. And we'll show you the video first. And it's going to look like a normal seagull when you look at it. But what we can tell you is that there's been a, a, this picture and this video has been posted all over social media. Bird watchers and experts are now weighing in. This is a rare bird. This is believed to That's be a, seagull, is it not? a Tamir gull or a Siberian gull. So there's a little bit of a difference between maybe a, a gull you see like a, a seagull in Nova Scotia in behind there with one in the front. What distinguishes it, Paul, is its long, bright, orangey red legs. Okay. And the mantle or the top of the wings, you can see it there, was they're dark gray. They don't match the herring gulls, which we typically see in Nova Scotia. These pictures in this video was all uh, captured, were all captured by Angela McDonald in a parking lot in New Glasgow last Monday. They have been shared internationally now. Uh -huh. and bird experts are weighing in and saying this is in fact a Tamir gull or a Siberian gull. And if it is in fact this breed of bird, it would have traveled 6,000 kilometers from its home breeding destination. It's it's actually, would your chances of seeing a flamingo in Nova Scotia are better than seeing this bird. Uh -huh. Yeah. What the? What the heck? <laughs> not what the heck, I was gonna say what, like what a find by her to know. Yeah, and exactly, to, like, to be able to hone, like to yeah. look at that and go, that doesn't look like your average herring gull is impressive, Angela. So I was chatting with Angela on Facebook last night. She's no had, way. She's had, you know, the mainstream media has picked up on this over yeah. the weekend. A lot of stories have been uh, covered already on this, but we thought we'd just mention it to you this morning that uh, you'll see this on, on social media probably today, actually. So this is what it is in New Glasgow? Yeah, New Glasgow. Yeah. And I believe one of a, an expert bird watcher who's been bird watching since like 86 drove four hours from somewhere in southern Nova Scotia to go spot, and he found it. It, it hangs out in this parking lot. I'll have to find out from Angela what parking lot in case somebody wants to go see it. Mm. She really makes a, a point, drives it home too, that a lot of people, they see seagulls as pests and they like to kind of like speed through their parking lot. And yeah. get, but don't do that. <laughs> like, they're animals, don't do that. So she's really trying to make it uh, her mission here to spread the word that, you know, you never know what you're going to find in a parking lot in New Glasgow and just to treat all animals with the respect they deserve. Uh, very well said. We're going to stay around that part of the world too and talk about uh, a lot, a person that a lot of people are watching in Ottawa. In